Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Super happy to see everyone here. Guys, for today's episode, I'm going to share to you my humble and very mini Chanel collection. So I have a very small Chanel collection. Currently, I have four bags and I'm very excited to share these Chanel bags to you guys. Plus, guys, I will be sharing to you what my thoughts about my collection. Would I be adding more Chanel bags? Plus, I will be sharing to you the most used Chanel bag and the least used Chanel bag in my collection. So if you want to know everything about my Chanel bags, please stay tuned. Hi guys, Ron here, Soaking Budgetar and Fashionista. I publish vlog every Wednesdays and Saturdays about latest about fashion. I do luxury shopping vlogs, also in unboxings. I also do bag reviews and provide styling tips. I'm inviting you to please join our ever-growing fam. There's a cute little icon here, so please click on that one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family. Please like and share this video and follow me on my new Instagram account that's at Ramirify2 for daily updates and styling tips coming from me. So guys, a quick PSA. So as you can see, I'm no longer wearing sunnies. So I'm still recovering, so you may still notice a difference with my recovering eye but I would just like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who sent their well wishes while I'm still recovering thank you so much guys all right so for Chanel bag number one it is my Chanel vanity bag in black patent leather so if I'm not mistaken guys this is the third Chanel bag that I purchased that I added to my collection and I purchased this one from a Japanese consignment store so technically I have two Chanel vanities one is in white caviar in this one but I have sold the white caviar because the lining of that one has already deteriorated and this one is way better condition so let me just open this for you so here she is so this is the front guy so the black patent leather I'm happy to report ever since I had her um, there is no stickiness or whatsoever in the what comes with this vanity of course what I really love is it comes with the authenticity card it comes with the hologram sticker so this is a series 3 so she was born around the 95 to 96 era so we could be assured she has a 24 gold carat hardware over here so some of the leather pieces may not be perfect but I super super enjoy this bag because of course she is already a vintage bag she has already been worn so I'm not really like you know being so careful whenever I am carrying her with me so guys also another trick that I would like to share to you guys so this is just a vanity others may not agree but I have transformed her into a crossbody slash shoulder bag so what I did was I purchased these bearings over here it could be purchased I believe at your local Amazon here in the Philippines it's Shopee and I'm going to link it on my description box below so this is fully detachable and can be screwed and of course so that it would not move guys i have attached already a twilly over here so this is a christian dior twilly so as you could see so actually it's not twilly it's a handkerchief so i've used her as a twilly and then i have attached a braided chain strap over here what i love about this strap the gold tone is almost very similar with the hardware of this chanel vanity bag all right so guys also what i would love to share because Currently, right now, whenever I would be purchasing a luxury bag and adding them to my collection, I would like to do a little bit of test of what could fit inside. I'm sure you have seen because I have already carried this one and I have featured her on some of my vlog. But just on a quick run through, I'm going to show you what could fit inside this bag. So as you know, these are the essentials, guys, that I definitely bring whenever I would be going out. So my Chanel vanity bag. So this one, guys, is a little bit bigger, but with the Louis Vuitton a mini pochette but this is more malleable so this one you cannot put it upright but whenever I am placing her I am placing her lying down like this so this one would be carrying everything of all my makeup lipstick um, medicine and all of that then of course I need my trusty YSL card holder and then guys this is a very small umbrella so I think this is a three-fold umbrella because of course our weather here in Manila is very crazy so you could still fit it in as you can see then of course my power bank definitely the power bank I so need this I cannot go out without a power bank especially I'm doing a shopping vlog and of course my trusty iPhone 6s plus as you can see everything fits in and let me just close it for you guys 
there so it fits perfectly and actually it has a little bit more space so guys I would also be putting a little bit of mod shots here on how I carry this one as a shoulder bag and guys if you are double thinking of whether you would purchase a Chanel vanity bag especially a vintage one I would definitely recommend that you get her I would try to check if I could still find one via fashion file so this is my Chanel number one all right so for bag number two is my Chanel Rodeo Drive flap bag so guys this is the second Chanel bag that I added to my collection I'm sure everyone is already familiar with the story so I purchased this one pre-love I actually did not um, purchase this one full price because what I did was I swapped or traded my Balenciaga Sharp Excess pack and I'm so happy with that trade. By the way guys, this is a Series 12 if I'm not mistaken and she comes with the hologram sticker and the authenticity card when I purchased this one and of course I had her already authenticated via entropy so you could carry this one um, I would say three ways so first one would be underneath your arms like this just like a Fendi baguette as you can see here she is very soft so she is very comfortable wearing underneath your arms over here of course you could carry this one as a top handle carrying it like this or at the crook of your arm then what's special about this one is you could carry her as an evening clutch as you can see it has this strap over here so for you for a much secure way to carry her as a clutch just insert your fingers here and then carry her like this right so the material of this one is in silver metallic perforated leather as you could see here the front and she has a timeless cc logo on in front she is a flat bag and you can close and open her with a magnetic lock closure she has one huge compartment one main compartment so let me just remove this here so of course this is the logo and she has one zippered compartment at the back so without any stuffings as you could see she is very soft very malleable so you could add like your own bag insert over here but let me just do a quick run through of what could fit inside this very beautiful Chanel flap bag so of course I have my Chanel um, makeup kit over here that carries everything my life um, power bank so again same thing that I fit with my vanity bag my trusty umbrella over here one moment YSL card holder so she can still go in iPhone 6s plus yes so as you can see everything is packed inside and let me just see if I could snap her close yes so once you have actually filled her to the brim as you're going to notice it doesn't slouch at all which I am loving this bag even more and as you can see guys it has a very luxurious and very beautiful silver hardware so here both sides it is engraved with the CC logo both sides and of course the very beautiful chain that it comes with it's very different from your classic flaps and here at the, it has the feet and it has the CC logo so I'm going to attach here maybe some close-up shot of this bag and of course more matches on how you could carry this bag so what do you think of my Chanel Rodeo flap bag? all right so for Chanel bag number three it is mine let me just get her she is my beige claire chanel full flap bag so this one is also a vintage bag i purchased her from a japanese consignment store so let me just trim uh, take out the strap over here so i super love this one so this one didn't came with any hologram sticker or authenticity card but i already had her authenticated via zico in which she said this is 100 percent authentic and i am guessing guys that this is somewhere around series 3 because it's low just look at the cc's it's like the 90s vintage chanel so of course this would come with the 24 karat gold hardware and of course the very beautiful beige clear color and it's made of 100% lambskin leather which i'm super super in love because the lambskin of this one 
feels very substantial and what I love is there is no color transfer as you can see here guys in front the diamond quilting is still it doesn't look very old or it's it doesn't look very like there are many press marks and here is the back so very clean here is the side with with this side guy it's very structured you could not press this in and then here is the shoulder strap for the shoulder strap it is like the chanel uh, mini square or mini rectangle wherein you cannot adjust it so it is just one length over here so i'm going to attach more matcha because definitely you could carry this one as a shoulder bag as a crossbody bag of course you could carry her as a top handle and you could carry her as a clutch you just need to insert the chain inside so here she is on full close-up view so let us do guys what fits inside so this one guys let me just compare it to my chanel rodeo flap bag so for a size comparison because this one i feel is comparable to chanel small to medium flap bag so i think this one is also comparable to a chanel, a chanel small flap bag over here so they're almost same size then of course this one is a little bit thicker or wider so definitely you could put, put more here because she is more malleable let me just try to check what we could fit inside so guys i haven't shown you by the way so this is the main compartment she doesn't have any mona lisa back pocket but she has a very spacious front pocket over here so main compartment front pocket and she has card slot in the lipstick compartment so let us check what we could fit in so of course we have the chanel pouch so with chanel pouch is already quite filled so i'm not sure if everything could fit in guys let me just check so let me try to put the umbrellas umbrella of course definitely it could fit in but with the umbrella it's already filled in as well so yes guys so i cannot put my umbrella in um let's try the power bank power bank card holder then of course for the phone so I put the phone in so this one what doesn't fit inside is the umbrella let me just check if I could like oh she's so stuck normally I wouldn't you can close it guys but I'm scared to force her I don't want to damage the bag so normally whenever I am carrying this one I would not be using um, let me just remove this first so whenever I'm carrying this one so these are the two that I would be putting on a separate bag maybe uh, I would be putting it on my partner's bag whenever we're together so we have the power bag and the umbrella and what I would just be putting in would be the Chanel pouch and my cell phone so let me just check there so with those two definitely you could now enjoy your day with your chanel beach clear full flat bag all right for chanel bag number four it is my chanel single flat bag in black patent leather so this is the queen of my chanel bag because as you know this is the very first chanel bag in my collection and i'm so happy with her so again this is very different so she is a single flap and she doesn't have a diamond quilting so she has this is horizontal quilts over here so this is the side so she has a back pocket and then she has a very large cc third lock over here she has four grommets on top so you could carry her as a single chain or as a double chain and she has one huge compartment one zipper compartment so when i purchased this one um she is a series three i had her already authenticated via entropy and again guys up to this point i'm so happy this would be almost one year in my collection because i couldn't forget i purchased her november to 2021 so this would already turn one year in my collection i'm going to do a one year review but so far her condition is still in very good condition although there are some stickiness on her patent leather but that couldn't be avoided anymore i transferred where i am storing her normally she is inside my room but my room sometimes is a little bit humid so i brought her down here which is a lot cooler 
and I would be putting condition leather conditioner here once in a while so that I could maintain the beauty of this very beautiful bag. So this one guys, I super enjoyed carrying her as a crossbody bag because I feel that, you know, I would not mind her as much. So let us do, of course, what fits inside. Try to do the umbrella first. So with the umbrella, you could actually put it like this. Let me just check. Oh, okay. So no, you cannot put it up upright. So lying down, you could put it in. Power bank, you could actually put it upright like this. There. My Chanel pouch. Then of course, cell phone. YSL card holder. So the Chanel pouch is sticking a little bit, but she is very soft, so you can easily fold her. Then she closes without any problem. Wow, oh my God! So this could actually fit my life. That's why, guys, I'm so happy carrying this one because the size of this one, if I'm not mistaken, she is medium or jumbo because she fits a lot and could carry so much. So again, guys, like what I mentioned. You could carry her multiple ways, of course. I'm going to put manchats here so you could carry as a shoulder bag like this, as a double chain. And then you could carry as a... One moment. Then you could carry as a longer shoulder bag or as a crossbody bag. So again, guys, I'm going to put some more manchats here. So what do you think of Chanel number one? All right, so guys, just to share to you, what is my most used and least used Chanel bag in my collection? So I would be honest, honestly, I wouldn't say that there is like a least used Chanel bag because I would be rotating them in a very healthy way because they do have very different style and very different looks and would function very differently, I feel as well. So like for example, for quick errands, for a place where, for example, I don't need to worry about my bag, I would be carrying my Chanel Patent Vanity bag over here. For party special events, I could carry my Chanel Rodeo flat bag over here and Chanel Beach Claire over there. So I could carry these two. Then of course, like for example, I would be going to a little bit, you know, a, a whole day event but a fancy place. I would be carrying my Chanel single flat bag over here because this one you could spend your day with this bag without any problem her size is perfect and could fit so much more i hope you enjoy our episode for today so guys let me know what you think of my humble and very mini chanel collection before we end i'm inviting you to please join our ever-growing fam there's a cute little icon here so please click on that one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family please like and share this video and follow me on my new instagram account that's at Ramirify2 for daily updates and exciting tips coming from Million. Thank you for staying with me in today's episode. I'm going to see each and every one of you soon. I'm going to leave a couple of videos here for you to check out. Please stay safe. Bye!